know how much to believe of what he said, but he mentioned that his grandfather and his partners would hide their gold that they stole on the south facing side of an old stone building by a natural spring. That told us basically the spot where we're trying to look and that's where we're going right now. Wow, this is where the cabin's at. We couldn't see it last night. Now we're seeing it. Good thing we didn't drive like a crazy person because it's literally right off the road and we would have been swimming. At a restaurant last night, we heard about a story about the white lady who, who killed herself when her husband's caravan was robbed. And we came to the cabin and we learned a little bit more about the history. There's some gold buried in the mountains out here. And so we've come here back to the cabin. We're gonna pursue some of the clues that we found and try to see if we can find something. It's gorgeous out here. Yeah. You guys went all out. Look at this. It looks so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that view. I know, right? It's not too shabby. Right? Not too shabby at all. That's so cool. That's the I real view that. right there. <laughs> I'm excited yeah. for breakfast. Sarah's virgin white wedding gown was being made by a seamstress in Bridgeport and the final fitting was to take place the next day after their arrival from Bodie. Mac would be leaving for Carson City early in the morning and would not be able to see the gown, but would be returning three days later with his load of machinery and tools to spend the night pick up Sarah and travel back to Bodie. Mac was on the stagecoach to Carson City at sunrise the next morning. The freight wagon loaded with gold, the stagecoach, and three mounted Wells Fargo armed guards followed the wagon north out of town. Sarah was back in her room at the inn just after sundown. Sarah was startled awake at midnight by loud voices downstairs. It wasn't long until Hiram Levitt knocked on her door and gave an account of a terrible tragedy. Just north of Bodie, the stagecoach and freight wagon were ambushed. Mark was robbed and killed and the three guards were shot and killed as well. The wagon was stolen and the robbers rode away with the gold. The stagecoach and driver escaped. Sarah collapsed with grief and was cared for by Amanda Levitt throughout the night. The next day Sarah was despondent. Her life was shattered. Dressed in her just completed wedding gown, she took her own life in her room upstairs sometime during the following night. Her note read, Mac was my only love, my partner for life. I wait for him where we last shared our dreams. Now I will love him for eternity as his wife. Sarah and Mac were buried in Sonora on their planned wedding day in December, but her spirit lives on in room 16 at the Bridgeport Inn. Whoa. Wow. That's where we were just at last night, the Bridgeport Inn, mm -hmm. where all that happened. Oh. Almost we're makes me want to cry a little bit. It's wedding. like so sad. Oh, <laughs> so sad. Oh. That's the story. You guys think there's some gold out there for us to find? Yes, and we might find a stagecoach uh, while we're looking for the treasure. Yeah. We probably yeah. should read the note. Maybe we should look for a stagecoach. Maybe we should read the note we just read last night again. So we I was thinking the same thing coach. as Corbin, but where's the last yeah, note? Yeah, We've got the, the other one in that book over there. Oh yeah, the book. We, need a we read this note last night. Oh, so this is oh, the book. That we found last night, the story of Bodhi. The story of Mac and Sarah and the mystery of their unfortunate deaths is one that has always intrigued me. Even more exciting is what happened to the gold that the bandits stole from Mac's stagecoach. They hid their gold they stole on the south facing side of an old stone building by a natural spring. While I can't find much literature about where the local bandits may have hid the, the gold, folklore around these parts point to the canyon north of Bodhi where Mac was attacked. We just heard about that in the story. Perhaps someday you'll find the treasure for your grandpa, Lovelace's grandpa. Interesting. So I think we ought to go check out that North this? Canyon. Above this. So I was reading in this book about uh, the history of this. And it, okay, this is what it was saying. Messenger Alex Bjork was tipped off 
one time to an intended holdup. And this says, mentions the location. Character claimed to have received this, this information from a woman in the red light district. The stage was to be held up the next morning about nine miles down from Bodhi near a narrow pass called Devil's Gate. This Interesting. Is actually a treasure hunt. That's cool. Yes, it but is. Family yeah. is real treasure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 it said uh, Devil's Gate. Yeah, it's right there. The stage was to be held up the next morning about nine miles down from Bodhi near a narrow pass called Devil's Gate. That makes it sound like it's south of Bodhi. Wait, listen to what the plan was to stretch a tense wire from one canyon wall to the other so that the horses would be tripped at about their knees. Whoa. <laughs> That's wow. kind of crazy. So, so they, someone tipped them off wow. like, hey, this is going to happen tomorrow. Like somebody knew about it. Sounds like. Interesting. You know, I, don't know, just, I bet that this off. was probably after the fact. I've been to Bodie a couple times. It's mm -hmm. like a little state fun. park now, but I've never like, really researched like anything outside of the town itself. So uh -huh. I don't know if there's like... Tiny anywhere we can find out more about where like wouldn't that be so Devil's cool Gate. I oh. want to check that out wouldn't I it be so cool be if they actually had a library yeah, there it and it like... still had books in it we love old books <laughs> <laughs> we do I bet we could find some old books at um, the museum probably in town yeah it's, it's on the way to Bodhi so okay. we can go yeah, yeah. I know, that's, that's awesome. awesome Jim Pender's story of yeah. Buffalo Bill yeah. oh Buffalo Bill Bodhi. Buffalo Bill of Bodhi. Isn't that cool? Yeah. This is if awesome. you were an old timey folk, hey. you would be him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've never seen a real bearskin rug. In fact, I wanted to even skin a teddy bear and make my own. <laughs> <laughs> you would. Wow. Is this a real bear? It was a real wow. bear. Yeah, my great grandfather oh my goodness. killed this bear. I like bear butts and a <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a lot more teeth, but when I was about your age, I decided to play with Corbin, him too do you think much, you so fit your head in it's missing a lot of his... He's pretty friendly, though. <laughs> Did that scare you? Oh, he's gonna have nightmares. <laughs> do you guys have plenty of water for today? Okay, so we're bringing a shovel. We're being optimistic. We're not yep. sure what we're gonna have find. Some water. We got some water bottles. Uh -huh. The shovel could function as either a digging tool for finding gold, or it could function as a weapon in case we find the bandits on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time Can ago. Never be too prepared. But we're getting ready to go. James and Corbin really wanted Holy to. Oh my god, look at that plane going, it's huge. That is a big one. It's so beautiful up here. Great. Peaceful and quiet. I love the mountains. I love it too. Yes. Got some in more this treasure book, books. Golden Gems in Nevada. Treasure Tales. A stage robber buried his loot before being captured. The bandit refused to say where it was hidden and it never has been found. Most of the residents in the area spent a little time searching for it. Take a look around. If you were afraid, of being caught with hold up loot, where would you hide it? That's kind of cool. Interesting. Cool. James and Corbin are going to ride with Renny and Boston because they don't want to ride with us. Okay, we'll follow you guys. I want salmon! I love eating salmon! I want to eat them! Awesome! Salmon tastes good even raw. I will go and grab one out of there and take a bite of it. You could see the salmon. Wow. Okay, we're having a pine cone hunting competition. That's a pretty big one. Whoa, well, that's a pretty big one. His is a little bigger. Oh, his is still bigger. They look like pineapples. Yeah, they totally do. <laughs> so we're uh, making a very, very important stop on this treasure hunt. That one's pretty big. And that is... We're trying to figure out. We're that trying to find the cone. biggest pine oh, cones pine that we nuts. can. I can take them home and make a pins and things video out of them <laughs> by glitterifying <laughs> them. <laughs> Laura, pine I think cone. that's a good idea. That's a great idea. <laughs> We're gonna get some pine cones really quick and then we'll be off hunting <laughs> real treasure. <laughs> you guys, I am so excited. This is so cool. I've been actually really telling Michael this and stuff. I've been just so excited to be able to do this. It's so cool to be able to go to a, a strange new place you've never been to before and have like an inn with people that already know about things. Totally. Oh, it's so cool. That's totally right. But seriously, it's so awesome. So we're coming over here, we're gonna look up Devil's Gate. 
Yeah, yeah, let's look it up. See what we can find. Find out about stagecoach robbery. Hello. 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 Good. Uh, well, Devil's Gate. What are you looking for up there? There's a Devil's Gate that we call Devil's Gate on 395, and then there's a Devil's Gate on 182. Oh, oh my. Two. Mm. Well, we heard we heard of a story. A stagecoach robbery. Yeah, of a stagecoach. At, at their cabin, that they found a clue behind a a picture, and yeah. it and it and it. It's a, it's a treasure Her hunt. husband, he actually did a little treasure hunt and, and we're actually looking for the treasure right now. And, oh. So and, Devil's Gate is what we're supposed to be and, looking at and researching. Well, another Devil's Gate. This one doesn't list up north as Devil's Gate. Uh -huh. But see there, it, I noticed that when you go uh, 182 Devil's Gate right here. Okay. Um, you can have this map. Okay. Oh, thank you. But then before you get to Fails Hot Spring there where the four lane is, they call that Devil's Gate too. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but it's not on the map as Devil's Gate. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I have thank several you. of these. So we okay, should circle cool. both of those places. I think we're good. good. Or Bridgeport. Pocket watch and crockery yeah. parts found. All I want to do is push play. <laughs> yeah. Little baby shoes. Okay, we just barely talked to the person uh, at the front over here and she was telling us a little bit about where Devil's Gate may be. But we are over here at the museum so we are looking around just a little bit before we go. That is a tiny little stove. It's so cool. Tons of different barbed wire. Okay, this right here is a crucible. They used to melt stuff like gold in there and then they'd pour it and make gold bricks and things like that. That's really cool. There's so many documents here and things. We're able to get a lot of good research here. It says to Bodhi and Bodhi is out this way. Okay. There's a Fletcher station out there. Fletcher station. Yeah. And that's okay. North, like north of Bodhi. Okay. All right. We'll keep our eyes open for that. Fletcher okay. station. All right. Let's remember that. Wow. That's big. And now it's all a ghost town. So we're going to Fletcher station. Albert. I think we're ready to go, huh? So last this is the very last, last day we're open for the season. So we're open for the before season. Memorial. Wow. That's pretty crazy that we happen to come on the, yeah. very the right last. day. Yeah. <laughs> so you you think Good that thing. we might be able to find something near Fletcher? So Fletcher think? Station. Fletcher North Station. North. Yeah. Okay. North okay. North okay. 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 Is that, a, is that like a ghost town or what's what's Fletcher? It's not anything anymore. It's not really anything. Just a place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it was back then? It was a town. It was a little town. Oh, so. Okay. So what are we doing here? We're gonna go see Sweet Sixteen. Last night, some brave soul decided that it was okay to stay the night where the where the light white lady haunts. Yeah. But they checked out, and so the room is vacant right now. Did you realize that? And so we're gonna okay. see if we can just see what there is to see. I guess they left in a hurry. I don't remember what. Happened. <laughs> yeah, last night when we were here, there was someone staying in the room, but I mean, are we, we sure got permission we to come check it out today. I don't know. So no. we're gonna go check it out right now. Question. So it's open. Already. This actually is creepy. This is where it all happened. What's in that door? In that door. There's two doors in here. So she mentioned last night, but this is in this room, or one of these rooms is where the woman, t you know, ended her life. That's but the this is also where Samuel Clemens, whose pen name is Mark Twain, wrote Huckleberry Finn. He is rumored or believed to have written in this very room for local newspapers and even potentially some of this book called Roughing It. So. Wow. Cool. This is creepy. Is this the room that that girl killed herself? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She was heartbroken over losing her husband. This room is colder in here. It is, huh? And it's facing the sun and then the neck. So it should be warmer. And it's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel creepy in this room, Corbin? Yes. A little bit? Yeah, it's a little creepy. I, I, I don't know. I don't get a weird feeling in this room at all. Do you feel weird, Becca? I actually do feel kind of weird in this room. Yeah? It's it's that we know what happened here, and it's we true. know the story behind it, and overall, I think it's just pretty creepy. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to head to the largest ghost town on this here side of the mountain. This is Bodie, a ghost town. Yeah. So this is really weird because it's all nice. 
Yeah. Like, I was not expecting that. Oh, the ghost that. town is all nice. Yeah, it's nice. This is the nice. most well-preserved well, ghost town in, because it's been in preserved. at least in North America, if not the world. There, there's yeah. actually people who live here and take care of it. I was listening to the curator of the museum back where we just were, and he said that one of his friends is one of the caretakers here. Her name is Terry, and she's one-eighth Paiute. She'll actually live here during the winter to help keep it really nice and make wow. sure that people don't like come and try to explore and trash it and things uh -huh. like that. But she also said she's seen occurrences of ghosts fairly frequently here. And that she's not the type of person that would exaggerate or lie either. Yeah. So that he, he's like, I, I don't really like put a lot of stock in those types of things, but you know, it seems to be that there's something happening here. Wow. Like, Interesting. Oh, I see a ghost. Oh, there's a creature ghost. That is so creepy. Ah! What? <laughs> <laughs> W.S. Bodie from Pocatsi, New York, discovered gold here in 1859. He died several months later in a blizzard, never seeing the town that honors him. Bodie's bones were rediscovered in 1879 and then misplaced after his burial. <laughs> It's interesting when the walls only being held together be because of the wallpaper. <laughs> In the early 1800s, the stamp mill was powered by wood-burning stoves or coal, oh, wow. and they'd have to truck in the, the wood or the coal to be able to keep that thing going. Wow. But ever since they built the hydroelectric plant, they were able to use the electricity to power the stamp mill, which is why this is one of the only intact large stamp mills where they would just pretty much destroy all of the, the or crush all of the ore into small fine powder, uh -huh. and they'd use mercury to attract the gold, and then in that building they would basically make gold bars out of it. Cool. And those gold bars would be shipped off to wherever or stored here in banks and wow. anyway. Wow. That's, that's what they transferred. So here's where we're at right now in Bodhi. Didn't the story talk about Aurora, the ghost town as well? Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. All right. The book was saying that a lot of stagecoach rob robbings happened between Aurora and Bodhi. Aurora's up here, right? And now we're in Bodhi, which is south. I'm imagining that there's, that this road, which goes up here, would be probably somewhere along here where the stagecoach robbing happened. Um, we'll just kind of have to see what it looks like up there. Yeah. Okay. And then she mentioned she a about spring. Fletcher. I imagine maybe if if, there, if this road's passable all the way through, this spring might be a good place to check out up here. Okay. And it's north of Bodhi, which is accurate to the story we were yeah. reading. So, yeah. Maybe we should finish the treasure hunt at home. <laughs> Did you like that? Yeah. That would be fun. We're on the treasure hunt right now. You just don't realize. Yeah. That so I here's do. what we're gonna try to so drive here. We're and... already at Ghost Town. Yeah. And then they were saying there's a there's a spring up here, so that might be a good place to see if it's still there. I know I've been to and Aurora once, and right there, it was pretty much some, there was nothing there. So I don't know if there's there. anything. That guy said there wasn't anything at Fletcher. So there's a spring and there's a mine right yeah. there. Yeah. So we'll see if there's anything intact, and if there is, maybe we can <laughs> look around and see if that's cool yeah. that sounds yeah. perfect yeah. Right. i think that's a good lead okay so we're heading north from bodie right now i'm not sure how long this drive is gonna be or how easy this drive i don't know if, if there's even gonna be paved roads or not so we're just gonna start heading north and see what we find i'm following rennie and boston right now they're kind of leading the way they've got the map so we're gonna go and see if what we can find aurora 16 mile do you see that we got stuck behind the cow herd here in the middle of nowhere. Please. Holy cow, there's cows everywhere. We're going on a bridge. We went on so right now we're on our way just following this trail. This trail is a lot more bumpy than we suspected it to be. And it's very dusty too. Because of that other car. We've encountered cows. 
and dust and we even stopped at a mining place that was actually pretty cool that mining place that's where they were doing the hydroelectric plant this is cool it looks like there's a bridge here but it's out so it says one lane bridge but this is the bridge so we're not going to be able to go over this then is there another way around maybe you just go down it looks like everybody's been going up here but i don't know so the bridge is out oh interesting okay. oh yikes hopefully they <laughs> We have to go. I can go first and see if we can get through. Okay. Then, I'm sure if I can get through. The van has probably more clearance than mine, so we should be fine. That's kind of what I was thinking too. Oh, that doesn't look too, too bad. What do you think? Should we just try to we go over this? We do need a car wash. We do need a car wash. I have to say, like, with how narrow this canyon's been, this is like exactly, I don't know, if I was a robber, like, and there were stagecoaches coming through here. Oh, yeah. Is, there's so many places you can hide out. Oh, so yeah. Ambushes. So this is where the stagecoaches would come through, huh? Yep. This wow. The this is the road. This is kind of crazy in here. Beautiful though. Ready to keep okay. going, babe? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna. Get it. Oh, I made it! Woo! Oh, we made it! We <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. <laughs> For a bit. That was pretty freaky. Get it. Here. We won't. So we've been passing a whole bunch of mine type things over here. Right there you see it looked like a caved in type of mine right there. So we've been passing a whole bunch of different mines. It's so interesting this area right here. James, do you see those trees? Yeah. What do you think that means? There's a pond or a river. Maybe some water up there? Yeah. That's what I was thinking, the same thing. I saw those trees and I was like, I bet there's some natural water there, like an oasis. We're looking at the map and we're almost there, so maybe this is it. Who maybe. Knows? Let's go check it out. Okay. Cool. There's some water. <laughs> this place is pretty cool. It reminds me of an oasis in the middle of a desert. The way that there's a lot of grass. There's like different types of grass that grow where there's a lot of water. You can tell that there's water here. Do you see any water? I hear water. Oh my gosh, I walked right past that and I didn't even see it. I know, right? This is cool. We're going to need a shovel. Wow. Hey, like this is a stone house. <gasps> You're right, it is. I didn't even notice that. I wasn't even thinking about it. It's just, oh. a, it's just a wooden roof with stone walls. Right Does anybody have the note that we found earlier? What are we looking for? Is it on the south side? of the house, I think. We need to read that note. They hid their gold they stole on the south facing side of an old stone building by a natural spring. There's a tree that's fallen over over here outside the house, some running water here. Oh, there's a plaque here. Fletcher, formerly known as Six Mile Station. Cool. No. Looks like someone it, else has climbed it. It does really look like it. Might try to look around if you see any clues. Okay, there's a lot of rocks up here. Oh, there's some rocks right here that are like almost stacked on top of themselves. Like maybe there was a wall or something here. So we can see the top of the roof over here. Oh, there's some barbed wire in here. You guys all right up there? Barbed wire around, Got be careful. In. Okay, this is the south facing side. I wonder, do you think we'll need to dig? It looks like people have been here before, so I don't think it's gonna jump out and pop at us. I think we might have to move some stuff if we're trying to find it. I can't help but wonder if we should like- Oh wow, look at this rock. That is so beautiful. Oh wow, oh, wow. it's green. Yeah. Copper. Is that copper? That's different from everything else around here. Do you think maybe it that could be is. a marker? Maybe yes, it's right there. Put it there as like a marker in the last resort. If maybe you should dig. Oh, Ooh, interesting. I want to see that There's rock. There's tons of rocks right here. That is so green. There's, yeah, be There's careful. tons of rocks right here. There's maybe. barbed wire right there, so be very careful. Well, we're just south of the house, the of the stone right house, there. and there's the spring right there. I just found something that's interesting, James. that rock, and Did this spot that? looks like a uh, good a spot of any. Well, let's move the big rocks first. That's a good idea. If we Watch want to dig here. Watch out for this barb bush. Oh, look! It's buried in cow pies! <laughs> <laughs> you want to dig it, or you want me to do it, buddy? Collect that. Collect here. that. Okay. A there's pretty something out right there. town that has a spring and a stone wall. And we're on the south facing side of a stone wall for treasure. Is that wood? That is wood. That is wood. There's wood here. Look! Oh, chest. Is it part of the house? I don't it know. might be. Out here, let's, let's uh, move some stuff. Yeah. I feel like an archaeologist all of a sudden. Yeah. Wow. I actually do. I think we're in the right spot. We're actually in the 
the right spot. That's Big. interesting that there's like, and it's like. Oh, it's square. Looks like whatever it is, it broke in. Probably broke over time. You think that there was another piece of wood right here covering the top of whatever? Well, it, it looks like it was, but it looks, see that? Oh, yeah. It just <laughs> looks like it might fall apart if we try and pull it up. But we'll... What if this is a chest? Well, they said in the note that we read that they would bury their gold. What if it's gold? Is it a box? Yeah. Oh, slowly coming up. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, Whoa. it looks like it broke. Oh my God. The bottom maybe popped out? Yeah. Serious? <sighs> yeah. Wow. Well, oh, look at the side. Whatever it was in that is now Perfect under the dirt powder. here. That's uh, dynamite. Gold's pretty <gasps> heavy, you guys. I just want to like dig my Hercules powder. That is dynamite. Is it? Yeah. I just want to dig uh, my hands okay. into there and like. See if there's anything in there. You think there might be dynamite in here? I think very. What the what? heck? There's a bag. What? <gasps> what? What? Whoa! I'm gonna see what's inside. Okay. I was not expecting that. Oh, a oh, note! A no! Really? There's a no. note! No. Really? Yeah. Ooh. And a rock. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Gold. That's gold! 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 <laughs> oh! 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 Whoa, that's awesome! It says, hard to flee fletching outpost. Took my share. Yours is by the old mine shaft along the ridge. Follow the power lines, you lucky dog. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, so oh, okay, let me get a better oh, look at both so the... Even hard to flee Fletcher outpost. Yeah, that's Took my share. Yours is by the red mine shaft along the ridge. Follow the power lines, you lucky dog. I just can't believe wow. how shiny this gold is. Did you get a good shot oh, of the shiny yeah, shimmering? It's really heavy. I was not expecting it to be like that. That is That Hang feels on, heavier a than a normal rock. Can you see the shine in the is video? Like metal? Can you see how shimmery it is in the sunlight? That is gold. That's so oh, cool. Nice. Wow, yeah. That is heavier, isn't it? Yeah, it feels like That's metal. so cool. Can I see it? Yeah, let him see it. Do <laughs> you think there's anything else in there? I checked, I didn't see anything. I found a little bit of broken wood, but. Probably just from the box. To see, like, see? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like that's probably it. See the wood? So then we should go check out the old mine shaft along the ridge, follow the power lines. Okay. Power lines. These power lines. But I think that these came in on well, much these later like date. These are like modern day these are bit, power lines. Yeah, We'd have to look at the old ones, look for old these, ones. If these were even connected to Bodhi, yeah, that's, it would be like 1930 when they would come in. Oh, hmm. uh, where's the ridge? Is it following this ridge, do you think, or is it? Yeah. Let's All right, we're gonna go try and find it. No, my only concern is that like, this is this whole area is pretty flat, and I don't know if there are any mines here, but if we were yeah. the surrounding this mountains. in between the like, mines, right? Like, where we came yeah. from, where we went through, there's probably mines there. We saw a whole bunch, yeah. And then as you get towards like, like Lee Vining, you'll, you'll, there'll be more mines along that area, but I honestly don't know Dive. that there's like anything Daddy. super close to here that's a mine. Okay. Dad. So. Well, that's probably what we, they would do though. Yeah. yeah. Go far away if they were oh, yeah. having to leave in a hurry. Yeah. We have a family friend high? who lives near no. Lee Vining. You know like, somebody? He's, yeah, he's like in this historical society. We could kind oh. of show, wow. him, show him the note or whatever. Yeah. Okay. See if he thinks. He That's a great idea. Help us. And then we'll tell him okay. where we found it. And then yeah, I don't know, like, because a lot of the mines, too, have been, like, re like reactivated over the years. And so okay. it'd be nice yeah. to find somebody yeah. who maybe Let's knows. Yeah, let's go talk to this guy. Okay. <gasps> Cool. Time to go, guys. Uh, you guys brought some refreshments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Like our favorite little treat. Cool. These are like, yeah. they're from the High Sierra Bakery. Thank you. Well, my hands are quite dirty. Yeah. We oh, got some hands. water. You can wash your hands off, right, in the van? Yeah. I just want to buy yours. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, good. You want one? You don't have to. <laughs> it's like a cookie. It's really sweet. Right. Mm. Woohoo! James, you find anything? What do you want to tell me? Not yet. This is a safe safety one. There's guards all the way down the shaft. That these go in on each side. Okay. Guards, and then you got these cams here with these teeth. So when you pull up on the top, that turns these cams. So you just got flat sides there. Okay. As long as there's weight, then it can slide up and down. Look at this rock I found. Glittery well, rock. Look. Collect some rocks. I've got some piles down here of like. Look at this. And... So Rennie and Boston introduced us to their friend Larry. He has a lot of experience working 
uh, in mines and working in this area. He's, I think he's got a lot of probably family history here too, so it sounds like yeah. he knows the area really well. Which is always really nice to find somebody who knows the area, who's knows lived here for a long time. We're gonna ask him some questions and see if maybe he can give us some direction on that note that we found. Let me keep this back so I can find cool diamond rocks. What kind of rocks did you find in there? Quartz. Do you remember what Boston told you about quartz yesterday? Yeah. What did he say? Do you remember? Gold. Veins of gold. Just veins of it goes around. <laughs> he's like talking to you. This you picked so up the rocker. He's like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Took it right out of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you take that. That's mine. That goes in my bag. That's fine. That's fine. The claw. Yeah. The claw. And a giant can. can. Yeah. That's huge. Brian, go stand by it. Green beans or pork and beans? Go stand by it. Pork and beans. They're minor. Yeah, much, much pork and beans, I'm sure. That's huge. <laughs> So we found this note buried, mm -hmm. and we wanted to ask you about okay, it um, and see what you think. Yours is in the old mine shaft along the ridge. Follow the power lines, you lucky dog. I think the power line they're talking about is the old power line. It used to come down to here. It used to come all the way down here? Yeah. Okay. And so if you go back up that road and just keep an eye to the right, Okay. You'll see an old power line with no wires on it. Oh, okay. Just a power line with the cross arm. Okay. And it's right close to the road in that area. I think okay. There's... Well, I guess it's worth checking out, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The kids want to. You got time for them to get some pretty rocks? Yeah. Yeah, 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 we should. Yeah, a few. Oh wow, this is the jackpot of rocks, huh? Diamond. That's <laughs> <laughs> cool. Wow. This is petrified wood, right here. It's really heavy, as heavy as a heavy rock. Are you carrying rocks? Wow. Well, do you boys think you got enough rocks there? Yeah. Let me see how big your bag is. That's a huge bag of rocks. That guy gave me it. His name is Larry. Did you tell him thank you? Yeah. Good. He was very, very nice to get share his rock collection with you guys. I think it was his rock collection. It is his. It's all his. Their friend knows where the old mines are, so he's going to bring us to one of them right now. So we're going on a hike, kids. Uh, Some really yeah, we're gonna cool go. rocks on the way. The, uh, we'll see. I don't are. know. Is that where we're going right now? But yeah, he said he knows where the old power line is. Miner's hat set up for those guys. Cool. Oh! <laughs> you guys want to be real miners? Yeah! <laughs> Corbin, you, uh, so you have a real miner's hat with that light on it. Is Does that, that okay? sound cool? Well, I want to get a picture of these boys with their miner's hats like, on. Yeah. yeah. Who needs real public school when you have home school? <laughs> Let's go gold prospecting. <laughs> They're living the gold rush. They don't need a history lesson on it. <laughs> what do you think, guys? It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. We're going into cave. You guys got your headlamp gear all ready to go? Those are your flashlights. I'm actually really excited. I don't think I've ever been in a mine like this. Okay, you guys ready? Thank you. Watch your step, boys. And what are we looking for? What are we looking for? <laughs> <laughs> That's really creepy with the dog's eyes glowing. How does dog's eyes glow? How deep does this thing go anyway? Look, there's the entrance. All the way back there, it's so far. It goes 1200. Oh, we should turn off all the lights. We should turn off all the lights and see what happens. Just for a second? Just to see it, just to see what it's like. What, what it would it like for the miners? Oh, look, you can see the end of it right there. You can still see the hole. See? Turn around. I don't know how to turn this one off. You can see the hole over there. Okay, ready, everybody? Okay, ready. Wow. 
Oh, there's the entrance. See stuff glow in you. What? See stuff in you. What? <laughs> what do you see? They're glowing on the ground. Guys, I think we should go. Check this thing. Let's double check just because we didn't find stuff along the ridge. So this isn't really along the ridge, oh. and the power line's not here. So I think it's back up oh. along along the ridge where you came. Okay. And it's an it's the old power line. It's just a pole. Like I say, it's just a, a pole. And you'll see it. Okay. See it so I think right. we went to the wrong one. I think since the, that the name of this mind was saying town go, was I think dogs, that's so. the right one. Oh. The name of the town. But the town's not here. I think why it was whispering was because a lot of people died going in that mine. So now we're gonna follow Larry and he is gonna show us where there's a ridge with a power line. And the first mine ended up not being what we were looking for, so hopefully this one will have what we're looking for. That looks like one of the old ones he's talking about. Right there, that's the old power line. Is that it down there? There's a hole over there in the hill, right along the ridge, and the old power line is up there. Corbin, come along this way. We're gonna walk around this way with the group so you don't fall down this, fall down the hill here. James might need a handhold too. You guys wanna go into this mine. I'm all, I'm all set going into mines now, thanks. Yeah, right? <laughs> After that last one. A lot more difficult to get to than the last one. Pretty treacherous through here, huh, Corbin? I thought I saw a bone, but I... I don't think people visit this mine very often. It's pretty secluded down here and hidden. This is probably where water runs if, uh, if there's ever a lot of heavy rain. Keep up with Mama. There's the cave right up there. This one looks a lot more creepy. I don't know. Well, it's definitely a lot more abandoned and secluded. Wow. Oh, there's a, tra there's a box in there. A box? I can't see it. Box! A box! I see it! Here, let's go check it out. See? This is the oh one that gosh, nobody ever comes to. Oh, there is a box in there. Maybe there are oh. booby traps in okay, there. guys, let's be extra quiet so we don't make it fall in on us or anything. I think I see poop in here too. Probably bats. Are there bats in here? Poop? Wow. I cannot see what's deeper in the tunnel. It kind of creeps me out. Are you guys going to come in and help me with this? Yeah, I need a flashlight. I don't have one. Come on in, guys. It is the same box. Hercules? <gasps> what? This is this one fill, is filled in, I think. Oh, is it a dead end or did it cave in? <gasps> How big okay. is it? Can we all fit? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we can all fit. Oh. <gasps> oh my goodness. What? I hope this is not the wedding dress. <gasps> that would be so creepy. The wedding dress of the... Of Sarah? Is Was that her name? No? Oh, it's him. Oh. That's the wedding dress. What if her body, her body's in there? It's really heavy. <gasps> oh. What is it? I think this might be the treasure. like a wedding dress? Oh my gosh. Maybe we should give these to the store. Wow. Well, actually, and said so gold much, bricks. How much gold I do you think, think is in here? I think they should have the rest of us, oh. rest of it, and we wow. just get one brick. How much is this oh stuff worth? Oh That's a lot. It goes down. Oh, yeah. you guys this is it. it. We found it. This is it. We found the treasure, guys. We, we found, found the treasure. treasure. When we 